Ocean of love and affection, and especially at that time, because he has taken intensive more madanak bhav also in him, so he was like a ocean of this subject. But Raja Mananda, like a cloud, ocean is what salty, and he clouds. Are in the form of evaporation of that water, very cold, small, sweet. And when she she meet with any forest or favorable to to melt, or they melt and drops shower coming. And then ocean again becomes a ratna kara, awful love jewels. So like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, ocean of love and affection, and taking water of Swati Nachatra, Swati constellation, and now he is realizing everything, and then he is now ratna kara. Oh, so good, so high class of siddhant of love and affection coming from him. If there was no dialogue between them, oh, we could not have known all these things. So we are going to explain more. One thing I want to clear you, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hearing Sarva Dharma no Parite Jamami Ekam Saranam Pedya. Antam Sarva Pato Pramuksesha. He told that, oh, go on, this is external. What means? All the instructions of Gita are not like that external. Don't think. Because after this shlok, he gave a praman of Brahma Bhutaha Prasannatma. Here is the subject, the lokic dharma, worldly religions which are called religion, but they are not religion, nothing. They are not uh, connected with soul religion. So he refused. Refused means he told external. But after this slok. Uh, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Again, it may come 
ओवाट मनमना भव मदभक्त मध्यादि मां नमस्कृ मां में एव सत्यम थे प्रतियानु प्रियोषी में और दिस इज दी एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड एसेंस ऑफ दी होल गीता फॉर दिस महाप्रभु नेवर टोल दैट ओ दिस इज आल्सो एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस इज द मोड ऑफ दी गोपीज मनमना भव सो वी शुड नॉट थिंक दैट ऑल आर एक्सटर्नल और होल गीता इज एक्सटर्नल नॉट टू दिस So when he told that, why he told Sarvadharma no patyajya? Oh, there is no symptom of oh, our transcendental, constitutional any religion, any mood. So he oh, told it is. And then Prabhu kahe yeh ho bajya yeh agi kaha raay kahe gyan misha bhakti sarvasha siddha sha. You should know that. There are three stages of bhakti: arushiddha bhakti, samshiddha bhakti, and sarushiddha. Sravanam kirtanam Vishnu smaranam paal sevan, or sadhu sangnam kirtan bhagwat sevan. These are sarushiddha bhakti. Now, where there is no sarushiddha bhakti, there is no symptom of sarushiddha bhakti. But even anyone can think that, oh, I have bhakti, and in karma or in gyan he is doing aro, imposing, imposing that this is bhakti. Then it is called aro shiddha bhakti. Really not bhakti. Jatkoroshi, jadashnashi, jagjuhoshi. These are like karma, but if fruit is given to Krishna or anyone, it may be some what related with bhakti. Then they may be called arushiddha bhakti. Otherwise not. Otherwise, oh, they are karma. Where karma is prominent. And bhakti is subordinate, or oh, these are karma. In Gita, it has been not told for that karma. Where bhakti is prominent, karma is like a subordinate. Oh, bhakti, pradhan, oh karma, pradhani bhuta. Oh, this is called here arupshita. Hmm? Otherwise, oh. Gita has not told for that, oh, or general karmas. So it may be like two or three, four, five kinds of karma, gyan, yog, and others. In this last uh, bhakti, what? Arushiddha. Arushiddha bhakti karma pradhan. Uh, भक्ति प्रधान कर्म ज्ञान प्रधान कर्म भक्ति लाइक दिस अंडरस्टैंड नो वेरी डिफिकल्ट वट इज अर सिद्धांत यू सुड एंड दे आर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री एस्पेश कर्म ज्ञान भक्ति तो कर्म ज्ञान जो If you want to understand the subject of Arup Siddha Bhakti, Sangha Siddha Bhakti, and Sorup Siddha Bhakti, first of all, you have to know what is Sorup Siddha Bhakti. First, Sorup Siddha Bhakti refers to those activities. Which in and of themselves are composed entirely of the angas of bhakti, such as Swaranam Kirtanam, Vishnu Swaranam, Parasevanam, Achanam, Nandasam, Sakam, Apani Vedanam, or 64 angas of bhakti, beginning with Guru Parishraya, Diksha Guru Sevam, Sadhama Pratya Shiksha Sadhu Maganu Gaman. Otherwise, five prominent forms of bhakti: Sadhu Sangha Nama Kirtan Bhagavat Chaurang, Shri Matira Vasu, Shri Matira Shadya Sevan. 
So when the activity itself is composed entirely of the angas of bhakti, this is called sarup siddha bhakti. Now, a person may do other things which are not included within the angas of bhakti, but because he thinks he has a mood that I am doing this for Krishna. Therefore, he calls this activity bhakti. Actually, the activity is not bhakti, but he is superimposing the name bhakti onto that activity. This is called ekatabhav, making one thing and saying that it is something else. Can I give him to be equal? An example? Example, one person is farming. So, among the angas of bhakti, farming is not being mentioned. Sharanam, Ketanam, Vishnu Sparanam, farming, Achanam, not that. Yeah? No. Like a man, any devotee started a school. Or to start a school is karma. But in that school, we will teach bhakti. Then it may be connected and that can be taught. Otherwise, no. Cow sheds. Cow sheds? <laughs> like a plantaining of garden. That some fruit will come and we will give to Krishna. So these are oh, examples. These are examples of Arup Siddha Bhakti. The activity itself is not among angas of Bhakti. But because we are offering the result to Krishna and we call it Bhakti, it's called Arup Siddha Bhakti. So this Arup Siddha Bhakti it may be, uh, have a predominance of jnan. <coughs> Otherwise, it may have predominance of karma or predominance of yoga. So, when the, there is a predominance of the karma and one is trying to do bhakti, then this is called the karma pradhan, pradhani bhuta bhakti. Karma pradhan, pradhani bhuta bhakti. And Srila Gurudev was saying, conversely, if one is doing some karma, but there is a predominance of bhakti in his activity, then it's called a bhakti pradhani bhuta karma. Huh? Is it clear now? Yes. Thank you. Oh. Then Rai told Gyan Mishra Bhakti. <coughs> we have explained something. What is Gyan Pradhana? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakanchati Samasarvesh Bhuteshi Mad Bhaktim Lavati. Krishna Bhajan Prabhu, he can explain. No, you. So in this, in this uh, sequence of questions and answers, actually Sarva Sajasar is repeated time and time again. All perfection, Sar essence. So what we're trying to arrive at, or where Lord Chaitanya is leading us and what Mananda Roy is helping us to arrive at, is Bhakti Sar, the essence of devotion. <laughs> We're still not there yet. <laughs> so in this verse, Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma, uh, Krishna is saying, uh, the one who has attained this level of Brahma Bhuta, or Brahman realization, uh, he's very happy. And Sochiti Nakamshati, he neither laments nor hankers for anything. Sarvas, Samak Sarvesha Bhuteshu, he sees all living entities equally as parts and parcels of the Supreme. And Mad Bhakti, he sees all living entities equally as parts and parcels of the Absolute. Mad Bhakti, Labate Param. Trying to control. Tom. Go on. Mad Bhakti Mlavate Param and all oh, after finishing Brahma Bhuta, Prasannatma, <coughs> oh, then Para Bhakti may come and then he will think that all are part and person of it. Otherwise not. 
But you are telling in this stage, no, oh, it is wrong. Everyone is Brahma, Savam, Kavedam, Brahma. Yeah, that is. When you come in good association, by influence of association... Yeah. So that's what's missing in this world. Like Madhu Maharaj, as your son, they will come. So... Oh. You... You... Explain this one. This one. Yeah. Don't be wrong. <laughs> that is why it so that I don't know. Very clever. Now I will never forget this lesson. Go on. In the stage of Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma. Why you became late? I will chastise you. <laughs> if you are becoming late again, that I will tell that you should be out of room. No, don't be late. I want that all the devotees should come before me here. They should be present. Then I will be happy. Oh. In the stage of Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma, the uh, aspiring spiritualist. Understand what, what, what you do? He's aspiring to be a from beginning in the stage of Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma. No, Brahma Bhuta, only this stage, then he became happy, Prasanna, otherwise, not. I thought we were discussing the verse Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma in the Sochitina Constitution. First, tell Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta is the understanding that the living entities are not distinguished on the basis of the body, but everyone is spirit. There's a defect or an imperfection in the person who is on the stage of Brahma Bhuta in the sense that he does not realize that the living entities are part and partial of the Supreme Brahman. No. That I don't want. Or you should explain this meaning of this Esro. When a person transcends the bodily platform and comes to understand that he's spirit, then he's free from. Then he becomes free from the uh, desires and anxieties of the body, Why? and he becomes equal. Why? Because he's not identifying with the body. Oh, at that time he thinks that I'm not this body. And he thinks that I should not do any worldly desire. Even not any, anything else from this world, any desire I don't want. Because Atma and Paramatma are same, or Bhagavan are same, and we are Brahma. If we are Brahma, then why any desire? No desire at all. And if no desire, then he will be happy. And then, no uh, sochati, he don't want anything, worldly thing. Never, no desire of worldly. Anything. Hmm? And no kanchati. And if anything is with them, and it goes away, oh, never sochati. Never because they think that I am Brahma, no deed of all that thing. Hmm? Sama sarva is Bhutesu. Sama, because all are Brahma. No difference. Sama, automatically. Oh, this cow, elephant, trees, creepers, all are Brahma. So all are like equal. Huh? If they are like so, but not offending any devotees are Srimad Bhagavatam. And they come in the association of high class of Vaishnava. And by their association, they may be changed. Because they are, they have not done any offense. And that is why, you know, some kind purify their hearts. And then, he will have bhakti 
एंड आफ्टर दैट ही विल है पराभक्ति लाइक वैष्णव दास बाबा जी फ्रॉम वाराणसी ही वॉज वेरी लर्नेड पर्सन एंड ही हैज अप टू केम अप टू वॉट फर्स्ट हंस परमहंस क्रॉस्ट एंड नाउ ओ ही वॉज इन अहम ब्रह्म अहम ब्रह्म अहम ब्रह्म लाइक दिस बट वैन ही शो ए devotee rolling down on the earth weeping bitterly oh shri krishna chaitanya shri advaita gadadhar shri vasudev gaur i felt a flashing light like a mood came and he became extra uh, extraordinary happy for a moment by seeing how he is happy and rolling down In what state? Evan prata prapriya nama kritya anurago deja chitta vuchay hasatta thoro dati roki gayat unumad dati. Oh, sometimes playing with Krishna, very happy. Sometimes some separation, and he is rolling down. Oh, Krishna, where? Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, where is my Krishna? Where is? Down. This is the stage of okay, Mahabharata. So, if he saw that Vishnu Das at that time, he was Maya Bhat, and for a moment, like flashing, oh, it came. Oh, how happy is he that for a moment I realized that association, and for searching, he came to. Vrindavan and went to know the pen. He had this song of Baba Ji Maharaj. So, Gurudev, until he gets that association, he can't have Prasanna again. When he's just Brahma Bhuta, when he realizes that the soul. He is telling a man from beginning if he is not Brahma Bhuta, no Prasanna. But he, from beginning, he was Karmi, and from Karmi he became. Oh, that's a gain. Not. Oh, he can have this mood without going to that issue. It is not uh, uh, necessary that he should come in this stage. Before that, oh, he was like Bilva Mangal, attached to that lady. Very bad thing. Lust was there, anarth was there, but he had not offended anybody. So, if anyone in that stage will have association, oh, before this stage comes, or oh, from there he can go. What stages here have been explained? From any stage, anyone can go to that by association, higher stage. He can have a greed for sir, Krishna like gopi. But a mayavadi Brahma Bhuta cannot have any presence. Or they can have if they are not offended anyone. So, this is that mayavadi is that they make offense to bhakti because they think. That I told. Uh, that I am telling. Brahma. That may be mayavadi no harm. That am Brahmasmi. Hmm. Am Brahmas. In any way we are like am Brahmasmi. Am hmm? Brahma. It is all right. Tattamasi, it is all right. Hmm? This is not fault. Oh, if they have not offended any Vaishnav, Gita, Bhagavat, and all epics, and Vaishnav, oh, from that stage, oh, if they are hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam by any high class of Vaishnav in their association, they may be give up all these things, and very soon, very soon. Because their heart is not attached with worldly things, very soon they will have parabhakti. Vishnu Das Chakravarti Thakur has given an example. There was a heap of oh, mustard oil seed, like yellow, a oh, very heap, and a gold. 
uh, uh, round particle or yellow are also there. On same like form like yellow I'll, I'll see. Oh, it was mixed. But only one that was. If there is a fire in that heap of that mustard oil seed, oh, very soon all will burn. But that gold, oh, it will remain. And if air comes, wind comes, all will, and only that will be glittering gold. So if Anyone has not done any offense in the Lord's feet of Bhakti Devi or Gita Bhagavat Ramayana Puran and not offended any Vaishnava in any way, not criticized, that then Maya Vadi that, if he will associate and serve any high class of devotee, like Sarvam in the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like Prakash Ananda Saraswati, or uh, in the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Like so many in the association of Rupa and Sanatana. So it is so. We should try to understand. Sanyasi Thakur told Babaji Maharaj that I am not happy thinking that Aham Brahmasmi. So I was not happy. Yeah. So prasanatma doesn't come until one gets that good association then. Oh, I could have been asking when someone is Brahma Bhuta and being Brahma Bhuta then Prasanatma mm -hmm. can they be referred to as Prasanatma? No, she's saying no Prasanatma. Yes. Before if any is Brahma Bhuta means there are six symptoms for that Brahma Bhuta. Janma, Maran, Astitva, for anything he is not lamenting, and worldly any desire he has not. All are Brahma, myself. <coughs> that person can be happy. Otherwise, not. if a person like this, and he is he anyhow, he is fortunate to have a good association of God, then. Parabhakti means creature. This is this. Oh, before he was. Because he never wanted any worldly desire. He was Prasannatma, Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu, Na Sochati, Na Kamchati. He was. Yes. Yes, a comparison. Oh, I was thinking that I am happy now, but I think that oh, that stage was my wrong. Then Prabhu kaha iho bhajya. Mahaprabhu told what has been told in Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasadnatma. Why? It is external. Because bhakti was not there, para bhakti will come. So it is extra. What I told? What I told Prabhu? The higher than this, what you have said is external. Because it's not what you said, it's not that. Yo, sit down easy. On the stage of Brahma Bhuta or this Gyanamishra Bhakti, there is no uh, Bhakti, directly Bhakti, or it is, it's covered by Gyan. Therefore, it is uh, external. Can you? What are you told? You are not here? Huh? But Brahm, Brahma Bhuta Prasnava. Uh. Why Mahaprabhu told it? Absolutely. Oh, something bhakti was there. Not pure bhakti. Without sadhu sangha, 
this verse cannot be completed. We cannot get the Parabhakti. So, yeah. so because that's still left out, we have to go further. Yeah. And there is no really pure Bhakti. The burning of the monk, the burning of the monk, the of the monk, what is that? Oh, here is that Brahman, uh, that Brahma Bhuta was The Like karma and gan and job and all. This is all must And what is what is burning? I thought Sadhusam was the breeze. That's amazing. Or both. Where that is burning or when you automatically come. Automatically. Not. Can you say that this Brahma Bhutra is external? Because you were mentioning how there's no necessity that you have to go through this stage. Yes. From karma you can go to bhakti, from the yoga you can go to bhakti. Or tapasya you can go. Or from, uh, if you are um, lusty, you are so much having, that, uh, desiring, akama, moksha kama, udharadhi. This is a praman for that. In, from any state, by Sadhusan, anyone can go to higher states. No need for mukti first and then bhakti. No. Oh, mukti will come first automatically. No need of doing anything, effort for that. <laughs> then, <coughs> Omaprabhu told that you should go on. Yo bahiyo. Then he told, Jnana Sunna Bhakti. He had told, Bhakti mixed with Jnana. First he told, Bhakti mixed with Karma. And Mahaprabhu told them both external. Then he told him, Oh, Jnana Sunna Bhakti is Sadhya Sadhya. What is that? Gyan, Sunya, Bhakti is not Sadhya. It is a process. But what is Sadhya? We will have to think. Understand? Samaj Raya? Oh, this is, this is a process. Gyan, Sunya, Bhakti. Anya, Vila, Sita, Sunya, Mlai. Oh, this is not Sadhya. This is process. But what is Sadhya here? What is Sadhya? Hmm? Oh, that is like Prema Bhakti. It may be. Sadhya Sadhya. By this Bhakti, Jnana Sunya Bhakti, we can attain pure Bhakti. This is the And what is that pure Bhakti? Anya Vilasita Sunya, Jnana Karma Adhidana Vritam, Anukulena. But first stage stays, not higher stays. <coughs> By this bhakti, we can attain, oh, like Parabhyam Bhakti, Bhai Kuntagat Prem, Service of Narayan. This is the highest thing that we can attend by that. Then, oh, he is giving example. Jnani prayasa madhupasya namanta eva jivanti sanmukharitam bhavadiya vartam thane sthita sutigatam tanumam vanorvi Ye praya so adita jito api hatai tai no kyan. Oh, now where do you enter? Oh, oh. Don't fear that I will tell you. I know that you are not from I know, but you still try. Don't try, uh, fear that I will 
राइट ऑन हॉर्स एंड आई विल सेल डाउन इट मे बी दैट यू आर सेल डाउन यू आर नॉट So in this verse, Gyan Praya Sham Lupasi Lamante Eva Jivanti San Kaitam Bhavati Amartam Stane Sita Ashuti Katam Tan Van Mano Bia Ye Praya So That one should give up this speculative knowledge. So, previously Gurudev has explained that you have um, the highest, the Satya that one can achieve the sadhya that one can achieve is to um, achieve Vaikuntha. So, it's explained that there are three goals that one may achieve Tat Parata Gyan, where one realizes the um, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Tuam Parata Gyan, uh, where one realizes that one is an insignificant um, servant of the Supreme Lord. And the other, which is rejected, is merging into the Supreme Lord. So, here, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is saying that, oh, go further, but something is okay here. What is okay? Stanesita Shuti Gatam Tan Ban Manovir. That at this point, the devotee is having the opportunity to do Sadhu Sangha. And by this Sadhu Sangha, then Bhakti will come. It stated, Bhakti is to Bhagavad Bhakta Sangena Parijayate, Satsanga Prapitya Pumbir Sukriti Purvisanchatai. That how Bhakti will come? Bhakti will come by Sadhu Sangha. So at this point, one is starting to enter into the realm of Shuddha Bhakti by having Sadhu Sangha. So for this reason, then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is starting to accept this as not being external because by Sadhu Sangha, and only by Sadhu Sangha really one could enter into Bhakti. This verse comes from Lord Brahma's statements to Krishna in his prayers from the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Here Lord Brahma is stating that one should give up the hard endeavor of Gyan and hear from the pure devotees about the Supreme Lord. But there are two types of Gyan. One type of Gyan is practiced by a Gyani. As Srila Gurudev was explaining before, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma Ahang Brahmasmi I am that Supreme. I, I am the whole Brahma. So that Gyan has to be rejected. But there's another type of Gyan, and there's another type of Gyani, and that is a Gyani Bhakta. The Gyani Bhakta is not uh, an offender like the Mayavadi, who thinks that he's God, but he believes that, he believes in the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bhishma is a Gyani Bhakta. He believes in Dwarkadisha as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Prahlad Maharaj believes and Lord Nishringadev as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So why does Lord Brahma say that one has to give up even this kind of Gyan? Because in the heart of a Gyani Bhakta, he thinks that the Supreme Bhagavan is the cause of all causes, he's the source of innumerable universes, and therefore, because he's everywhere and everything, He's complete, so he never gets hungry or thirsty or tired, and therefore there's no need to serve him or give him water or fan him. So there's a wall between that Jnani Bhakta and Bhagavan himself, either Krishna or Narayan. Prahlad's service to the Lord was cut because of his knowledge of the Lord's opulence. So there's Aishwarya Bhakti as a Jnani Bhakta, and then there's Madhurya Bhakti. So Lord Brahma is inviting by his prayer that one should even gradually give up this conception of Krishna is God and should gradually develop greed to follow one of the residents of Goloka Vrindavan who accept Krishna as their son, like Mother Yasoda who thinks that if I don't feed Krishna he'll die. So following, by hearing the sweet pastimes, Remaining in one's own position and hearing the sweet pastimes of the Lord 
from a pure devotee and gradually understanding his own particular position as a particular kind of servant, he develops greed to follow one of the inhabitants of Braj. Thank you. Bejar, Bejar. Bejar devotee. You are so stand up and tell what she told you. Essence. Sri Shamarani Giri was explaining that there are two kinds of jnanis. One jnani, he, he is thinking, he has the knowledge, oh, I am Brahma, Aham Brahmasmi. And he is... Wants to, he's thinking everything is one. And then the second time of Jnani, he, was, he is thinking like Pallad Maharaj. He has knowledge of the...